Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the best way to set up your iPad's home screen. So when you get your new iPad and you sync your apps to it, you're probably going to see, you know, you're going to have this big messy arrangement of icons all over the place, not where you want them, and really disorganized, and you might have to page through a lot to find the apps you want, and it's, it's really annoying. So what you can do to fix this and set up your iPad the way you want it is, uh, well, first of all, you can hold down on the app icons and you can arrange them around so say I want Google to go here and you know I can um, drag them to wherever I want them to go and I can put up to six applications in my dock down here um, there's four default ones but you can put up to six in there so I can uh, drag Rage HD down there if I play that game a lot and maybe Google if I do a lot of searching and then you know I can arrange down here too now another handy thing is making folders. So you can see here I have some different games on my home screen. Uh, Infinity Blade, Rage HD, and Epic Citadel. And they're all pretty intense games so maybe I want to group those together. So I can just drag Infinity Blade on top of Rage HD and it makes a folder automatically and it titles it uh, intelligently based on the category of the app you put in the folder. So in this case it called it Action, but I can, you know, rename this, so I'll call it Games. And then hit Done, and I'm done there. And then I can go back and hit the Home button, and I can be finished. Or, you know, I can add other apps. Um, maybe I want to go over to this page and find another intense game like Asphalt, drag that back over to this home screen, and uh, put that in that folder too. And then... Maybe I'll arrange some uh, other other games. So let's put Doodle Jump and Angry Birds together, and it labels those as games because they are games. And I'll put Paper Toss in there too. Now you can't make folders in the dock. Uh, you can see it won't let me make a folder here, but I can put folders in the dock when I'm done, so that no matter what page I'm on, I can make that folder. So it, what's a really handy tip is put all your most app used applications in folders in your dock. So no matter where you are on your iPad, you'll always have those applications right at your fingertips. And another thing I should mention is that you can only put up to 16 apps in a folder on the iPad, so there is a limit. You can't go forever. See, I only have four here, but once you get to 16, that's the limit, and it won't let you put any more apps in there after that. Now, if you don't like using your iPad to organize your apps, you can also use iTunes. So all you have to do is plug your iPad into the computer, open up iTunes, and select your iPad from the Devices column here, and then hit the Apps tab up at the top. And you can see a pretty much what your iPad looks like. And what you can do here is you can look through all your apps on the side here by scrolling through this list. Now on the second half here, I can look at my different home screens just by clicking at the bottom here. And I can organize my apps just by dragging them around, just like I would do normally. And I can move them around to wherever I want to. And same with the dock. And I can even create folders, um, so I can drag those two apps onto each other and then I can name the folder. It doesn't intelligently name them when it's in iTunes. So I can make folders that way, and add apps, and then move that around too if I prefer using iTunes for that. And once again, I can still put folders in the dock. So I guess that's a little bit of an easier way to organize and manage your apps rather than using your iPad. That can be a little bit cumbersome. So I hope you found this video useful, and hopefully it helped you organize your iPad better. Thank you for watching.